Hey, it's Jack with Emerald Coast Beach Homes, and I'm here to tell you today a little bit about appraisals. What are they? Can you waive them? All about appraisals. So if you have not heard by now, appraisals are taking so long and they normally mess things up a lot of the times. So if you have a loan, you have to have an appraisal. If you pay with cash, you do not unless you want one. But with a loan, you have to. Normally lenders always require it. To make your offer stronger, you can waive the appraisal contingency. What does that mean? That means that if your loan is for say $500,000, but the appraisal comes in for let's say 480, so it comes in here. If you waive the appraisal contingency, that means you have to pay up to $500,000 out of pocket. So you need to pay that extra, if I said 480, math, 20 grand out of pocket. So that means you have to make up that difference. But if you did not waive the appraisal contingency, what could happen? A couple things. One, the seller could be so nice and gracious and come down to the appraisal price, the 480. Or they could, you guys could negotiate. You could meet in the middle. You could come at a other certain number, whatever you guys discuss. It really kind of depends on the negotiations. Or best option would be for the buyer, would be for the seller to come down to the appraisal price and then everything goes as planned. Some people ask me, Jack, should we waive the appraisal? Or Jack, should we do this? Or should we do that about this appraisal? Or Jack, why are appraisers taking so long, like weeks? Uh, realtors do not talk with the appraisers. Man, do I wish we do, or we could, but we, we just don't. So they, they contact us and say, can we check the house out on this day? And that's all, all it is. All it is. If, if I try to keep them on the phone or ask them any other question, they're like, Bing. <laughs> so I definitely try to, to talk to them, but um, they don't talk to us. Um, so we, we have no say in what appraisers do or say or what they think the value is. All we can do is try to find comps that help that list price or try to help find the comps that the listing agent came up with to make up that price, but that's all we can do. With VAs, a VA loan, they issue a Tidewater. A Tidewater is for mostly for VA loans and that's like, warning, warning, your appraisal is lower and it kind of just gives you time to try to fight it or talk with your clients. Um, not all loans issue those, but it is a, a good like little warning. But every time that happens, we're like, oh man, great. <laughs> but anyway, that is the deal with appraisals. If you have any questions about them, just call Jack or ask me. You can also be super honest with your lender and your lender can help with numbers and whatnot. But it's always good to run those comps before you put an offer in on a house or if you list your house so you can see if this is gonna, if the appraisal, what's gonna happen. I do, we do see less and less nowadays um, appraisers, appraisals not being waived. So them being in the financing contingency, which does give um, normally, if you're within the period of time allotted, uh, you, uh, the buyer able to back out. But it all depends on the contract. It all depends on the situation. Uh, just make sure you have somebody you can trust. Just me. Thanks.